Northern Japan experienced another day of heavy snowfall and rough seas and record cold temperatures on Thursday, bringing widespread disruptions in the country. Yes, heavy snowfall was seen in Hokkaido Prefecture with a blizzard warning forcing some roads to be closed. According to the Japan Meteorological Agency, the maximum wind speed on Thursday was around 25 meters in the Hokkaido region and 20 meters in the Tohoku region. In the town of Tobetsu, a truck reportedly slid off a road, while in the Mi prefecture, icy conditions caused congestions on the Shin Meishin Highway, but was later resolved. Some of the road closures are expected to be lifted by Thursday evening. Meanwhile, Yokaichi in the Mi prefecture also saw heavy snowfall disrupting transport for commuters, and a long line of people were seen waiting for taxis by the station. Meanwhile, in Afghanistan, Taliban officials on Thursday said that 158 people have died so far this year during Afghanistan's harsh winter, deepening the country's humanitarian crisis. Abdul Rahman Zahid, a Taliban official for the Ministry of Natural Disaster Management, said the deaths occurred as a result of the cold temperatures, flooding, and other weather-related issues. Forecasts say temperatures will plummet as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius across parts of Afghanistan this weekend. The Taliban takeover in August 2021 sent Afghanistan's economy into a tailspin and transformed the country, driving millions into poverty and hunger, while foreign aid stopped almost overnight. In the meantime, the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, or OCHA, said that humanitarian groups are providing winterization support to families, including heating, cash for fuel, and warm clothes. However, distributions have been severely impacted by the de facto authorities' ban on female NGO aid workers. <laughs> Kalau nak kena